Hello everyone, my name is Zahid Bashir and you are watching this video on my YouTube channel TagZed and my Facebook page TagZed. So guys, this is the current sensor here I am using with the ESP32 and showing the load on the screen here. So guys, for this project we need some equipment. Uh, so we need the current sensor here. I will show you the current sensor is uh, uh, 30 ampere current sensor. This model number is ACS712 and the sensor is the 30 ampere current sensor. So we can connect the load up to 30 ampere here. So for <coughs> also we need here OLED display that's I2C and a microcontroller that's the ESP32 Wi-Fi module. So we are going to use these equipments and also we need some wires to connect these sensors and display to our ESP32 model. So first of all we are going to connect these four wires to our OLED display. So I will tell you that uh, we are using ESCL SDA VCC and ground pins here. So remember one thing that the SCL and SDA pin of the ESP32 is SCL is the 22 and SD is the pin number 21 here. So remember this SCL is 22 and SDA is 21 pin here. So I am going to connect uh, these wires. I am going to connect uh, the OLED display to our Wi Fi module. So you, if you also want to connect the display to the OLED display to the ESP32, sorry. So you need to connect the SCL to the pin number 22 and SDA to the pin number 21 here, okay? And connect the VCC to the 3.3 volt of the ESP32 and connect the ground to the ground of the ESP32. Okay, so wait for a while. I'm going connecting here these wires. So you can see here there are four pins SCL, SDA, ground and VCC. So now I'm going to connect the VCC to the VC 3.3 volt and ground to the ground of the ESP32. So after completing this, we are going to connect the current sensor to our ESP32. And remember one thing here, I am using the pin number 34 of the ESP32 here because pin number 34 is the ADC and DAC converter and an octa digital converter. Okay, so we are going to use the pin number 34. First of all, I am going to connect the ground to the ground of the ESP32. And now we are going to the VCC to the 5.5 5 volt of the ESP32 here. Okay. And after that, we will connect the sensor pin to the pin number 34 of the ESP32 here. So guys, if you are watching on youtube please do subscribe my youtube channel or if you are watching on facebook please do follow my facebook page tag z and we will provide information about the projects that's based on the computer science electrical anc and other things so do subscribe my youtube channel and follow my facebook page so after completing this wiring setup here so i'm going to connect then pin number 34 as a signal pin here So you can see here, this is a simple circuit here, connected these wires and connected the SCL to the pin number 22, SD to the pin number 21, okay, and connected the VCC of the OLED display to the 3.3 volt of the ESP32 and connect the ground of the OLED display to the ground of the ESP32, also connected the VCC of the current sensor to the VCC of the ESP32 and connect the ground of the ESP32 to the ground of the current sensor and use pin number 34 as a signal pin here. So I am going to connect this cable and up the code. So guys now uh, connect the cable to our system and I am uploading the code here. So you can see I am using this Arduino ID for uploading the code here. So this is the code here so if you want this code to comment and here we need some calibration using voltage so now i set the port here and then upload the code okay so now i'm click here and codes starting uploading here so wait for a while so till then if you find this video useful do comment follow and do subscribe my youtube channel if you're watching on facebook then do follow my facebook page tag z I'm uploading all the projects that's electrical 
and c and computer science based if you need projects you can contact us so course successfully upload here now we are going to check our project if it's working or not so first of all i will show here display the current is 0 0.01 ampere here and after that we are using some load and see what will be the current flowing through this motor so here i am connected the motor through the load so you can see here motor is connected and you can see the ampering here the current ampering is 1.27 1.8 that's nearly equal to the 2 ampere here so that means the motor that's connected to the sensor has a load of current up to 2 amperes here okay guys so our project is successfully uh, completed here now if i remove the load and you will see uh, the current will be nearly equal to 0, 0.0 ampere here so remove the load here and i will show you here so you can see the current is 0 0.04 to 0 0.01 ampere so thanks for watching this video please do subscribe and do follow my facebook page tag that